Since this program was first conceived by uh, Director Neil Turok less than 10 years ago, it's become one of the most sought after programs in theoretical physics. Well, just how competitive is it to get in here? It was more difficult to get into Psy last year than it was to get into Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, or MIT. The program is super intense. As much as it is rewarding, I think the program is such that you can only take away as much as you're putting in. Let's just say from the get-go that the workload is intense. I've never had to work this much in my life. PSI is like a drink, trying to drink through a water hose or fire hose or something like this, you know, there, there's, there's so much to absorb. So it's not about uh, getting a grade, it's not about um, uh, competing with your classmates, it's about exploration, uh, personal exploration as much as uh, academic. You can study all kinds of uh, areas, the sub areas and all these topics and you have a lot of course which is taught by very good scientists, people who are really doing research and they're very kind and friendly. You see all these big physicists, uh, big name physicists walking around. Just the other day um, we were um, at lunch and we saw Yakir Aronov from the Aronov bomb phase sitting next to us playing chess and that was just incredible. We were just looking at the, at the, at the scene and we were just, yeah, this is PI. Because we met a lot of people here, um, I made a lot of friends. Like we tried uh, 29 people here, it, it already feels like a, like, a, um, like a family. We lived together, we ate together, we had the classes together and I noticed it for the first time how, we, how close we are right now. Yeah, let's see what you can see. I think every room also comes with a fan because it gets really hot during the summer. No snow yet, but I'm told it's coming. Alright, guys, you're on TV. The idea behind the, the winter school was that to take a week out from the usual PSI courses and um, immerse the students. In, a, in an authentic Canadian winter environment. Most of these students are from countries which don't have snow. And they, they don't really get to experience the Canadian winter, the, the positive aspects of it, the fact that you can actually go and do all this awesome stuff. It's pretty cool, actually. It's nothing like the winters I've ever had. They should experience like the research vibe, you know what I mean? You know, research, you go down all sorts of you know, dead ends and blind alleys and you fail many times before you sort of discover what you're trying to find, maybe what's the question. What we are here to do is to serve uh, humankind and improve the world and theoretical physics is one of the most powerful ways we can do that. You can really see with that the love that people have for physics in this place that you don't necessarily see in many institutes and many universities out there. I guess for me the best example we have is when we had the gravitational wave event this year and you had all these people in the bistro and they announced it and everyone was smiling and I saw people crying. Jens, who's? So even, like, even if it weren't for the courses itself, the atmosphere and the research being done in PI and the passion people have, that's really something I'd say unique about this place. Don's a 